everyone and welcome back so in the first video we had discussed the most important functionality of google slides which sets it apart from microsoft powerpoint presentation and this most important feature is that of sharing your presentation online with users or collaborators so that all those collaborators can make modifications on the same presentation on real time basis and this is the main reason why google slides has an upper edge over microsoft powerpoint presentation so all you have to do to share this presentation with users is to click on this share button which is given here since i haven't shared this presentation with anybody else so that is why this presentation is still private to me click on the share button here you can see a pop up window appears there are two ways in which you can share your presentation so either you write the email addresses of the people whom you want to share with or you generate a link or get a link and share this link with the users so here i click or i type in the email id of that person whom i want to share this presentation with so i write a message or i can send it without writing a message as well here as you can see there are three accessibility levels that i can assign to this person i can make this person a viewer a commenter or an editor so firstly let me assign this person as a viewer i click on the send button now since this person whom i assigning to does not belong to a g suite account or does not have a g suite account it shows me this pop up so anyways you need to share this presentation click on share anyway so as you can see that there is a message which comes up that the person has been added now let's see if that person that is in this case it is me only has received a mail yes i have received a mail and i have been given the access to only view the presentation i open the slides and i can see that there is a clear cut highlighted portion which says that i have the accessibility to view only just in case you need to elevate your status you need to send a request to the owner so that the owner can can take a look into this and may or may not elevate that person's level so this is the case of assigning only the viewing part i come back to my other email id in which i am the owner i click on the share button now i want to increase or elevate the person's accessibility level now i make that person a commenter i save these changes it says the permission has been updated i go back i refresh my screen again and now i can see that my status has been changed from viewer to being a commentator only so i can comment so in order to comment on a particular slide all i have to do is click on this plus sign button which says add comment i click here and i write any presentation very nice slide i click on comment now let's see if the person has received this comment or not as you can see as you can see that this comment message has appeared here so this is the case in which i can easily assign accessibility levels to this particular person in the next case i again go on to the share button and i click on this drop down menu against that particular collaborator as you can see apart from being a viewer and a commenter i can also give temporary access to viewers and commenters only and what is this temporary access once i click on this i can allot a time period for these people to either view the presentation or comment on the presentation so i can give them a time duration suppose i want to give them one month or two months of time period to view or comment on the presentation only so this means that as soon as september 19th lapses at the stroke of 1159 this person will not have 
the right or the privilege to access to comment or to view my particular presentation so i save this and the permission has been updated so this was about viewing the presentation commenting on the presentation editing the temporary access you can also make that person an owner and you can all together remove that person now what we'll discuss here is what is left here is assigning the person to being an editor so i make this person an editor i click on the save button so it says that the permission has been updated i refresh this slide again and now i can see that being an editor i have all the rights to modify change the presentation so as you can see i can easily change the presentation here i can write modify do anything here so this is the case in which the person has been given the right of being an editor so suppose now i am the editor i would like to further share this presentation with anybody else so can i do that i go to the share button and i and i give any or i type in any email id to which i can further give my presentation access to as you can see it says ask your owner to share you are an editor and can't share or change permissions so in this case simply being an editor does not mean that i can further share or change the permissions in order for the owner to allow the editor to make changes in the permissions and sh further sharing all the owner has to do is click on the share button so i am the owner now i have assigned this person the right of being an editor now to give that person for the rights of changing the permission and sharing all i have to do is click on this settings button here you can see that if i check this check box then i give this editor the right to change permission and share i click on the back button i press on done now let's see if i am able to access or i am able to share this presentation further i click on the share button okay let the presentation load please it says it's loading i click on this share button and i can once i have been given the permission to change the the levels of the person or the accessibility rights of the person i can change the status i can add people further see now i can easily send the presentation so person has been added so that means that i after being an editor i have given i have been given the permission or the right to add further persons now as you can see as soon as the person is being allocated some privilege and that person opens the presentation on his or her system then that person's icon is popped up here as a collaborator so here i can see that i have shared this this presentation with two people and only one of the persons has accessed or opened this presentation so i can see his or her icon popping up here so i have assigned two people the the accessibility level of editor so you can add remove make owner view comment editor give temporary access to all the people whom you like to so this was all for this presentation in the next video of mine we'll see how to get a link and using that link how i can give access to my presentation thank you